Shalawam. <coughs> like to say our praises due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, the ones to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hope of members of the elect. This is just a short lesson, Lord's will, and um, I'm, I don't have nothing really lined up. So, um, gonna see where the Holy Spirit, where the where the Dash is gonna lead. But uh, we're living in uh, serious and dangerous times, right? Um, and it's all this is all orchestrated by the architect Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. By the Heavenly Father Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, um, because uh, what's going on? You have uh, Russia, China, you know, who's uh, formed the alliance, the BRICS, these BRICS nations: um, Brazil, Russia, India, China, um, and uh, South South Africa. You know, they're um, they're basically fighting against nato so the north atlantic treaty organization so um you have canada america um these european nations who are aligned with nato and then the eu and uh basically uh we're seeing their downfall the ten the ten toes you know and uh part of uh um it's mixed with uh with iron and uh you know and uh clay you know and this whole thing is, is it doesn't mix you know iron and clay it won't mix you know and um their their whole image their nwo their new world order is won't be established you know and um so uh, i'm gonna play this this is in regards to uh, what's going on in china <clears throat> and uh let's build it's insane Mexican military just seized the assets of an American company, Vulcan Materials. Armed forces, including from the Mexican government, launched a takeover of its facilities in the country's southeast on Tuesday. The move prompted national security experts to sound the alarm. What's going to happen with the tens of millions of Mexican citizens currently in the United States? What's going to happen with the porous open borders? What's going to happen with the drug cartel massive presence throughout the United States, including with the drug trade? All that's going to be weaponized. I would say this does fall pretty heavily into the hands of the CCP. This is what they want. The CCP does the money laundering for the drug cartels. They supply the weapons, actually. A lot of those come from Norinco, a Chinese arms manufacturer. Fentanyl and synthetic drugs also come from the Chinese Communist Party. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, another uh, basically news platform, you know, and uh, they're talk. He's talking about what's going on with China, you know. They're uh, basically uh, they're funding, you know, uh, these cartels, you know, with these drugs, these guns, you know, and um, you know throughout, you know, Mexico, you know, and it's throughout uh, America and Canada, man. A lot of there's uh, these drugs, you know, this fentanyl, you know, um, you know, they're they're like they're pushing it, you know, on the people, you know, uh, you know, people are being, you know, you know, people who wanna who wanna flee, you know, from uh, you know from Mexico, you know, now they have basically uh, like the border, like the border patrol or whatever is gonna round them up. And basically what they're gonna do they're just either gonna like separate families or basically uh just human trafficking you know and organ trafficking you know this so uh you know they're gonna have no need you know for uh you know for people man because they have for this new world order like they're gonna they're gonna try to uh, eliminate as much people you know Who's not a part of this whole NWO? So like their plan is to like is to get rid of like the like the so-called Goyim, right? And who's at the forefront of it? The small hats, right? The Zionists, and then um, you know and these other world nations. So uh, me gonna play this as well.
hopefully uh, you could, you're following up. So. China is prepared to defend world order alongside Russia in accordance with international law. And they're having meetings with other countries. They're the solidifying relationships throughout Latin America. They're solidifying relationships throughout Africa. They brought them together and they're talking about creating now what they call the multipolar world order. The multipolar world order is the alternative to the U.S.-led international order, which they call the unipolar world order. That means multiple powers that control the world. What you see now is that radical world order, the communist systems of the world, now becoming the de facto world leaders, at least they're claiming, and they're uniting the different world leaders under the same worldview, the world socialist revolution, essentially. You're witnessing a change in the way the world is run. China is prepared. Yeah, so that's pretty much it with that. You know, with that video. But basically, uh, you know, they're pushing this new world order stuff. And uh, the average person, you know, the average uh, nigga, you know, the average, uh, you know, six-pack Joe, you know, they're talking about what's going on. And people are concerned. People are, are starting to see what's going on in uh, Paris, you know. You know, they're... Uh, like they're, they're like they're messing up like the whole uh age of retirement you know soon like so you're so you, like the so-called normal age of retirement here in uh canada is was, was six it's gonna it's 65 but you know we know that um next couple of years it's probably gonna go you know it's gonna go indefinite you know like you won't be able to uh retire man but um, I was looking for a scripture, uh, Psalms, uh, um, Moab, Slakia. There's 161, 151 uh, verses. I'm just looking for uh, Moab. Yeah, Moab in my washpot. Yeah, Psalm 60 and 8. Moab is my washpot. Over, e over Edom will I cast out my shoe. You know, so Moab. You know they're the ones who's you know who's doing a lot of the money laundering and they're the ones who's uh doing all these deals with uh, these african nations um uh, you know these african unions you know and um they're here too in jamaica you know and um throughout canada and the u.s you know they're indebted to uh china you know and basically uh you know the the lord that's why joel said uh two i think joel two or uh, joel three said um uh, he said like he said on uh, that to let the weak say that uh i am strong right because these uh were very weak you know farming um like um like farming uh, uh like companies you know but now they have uh you know the whole nuclear capability you know to uh to fight right? and basically you know these chinese you know um chinese you know the koreans and um you know these other nations who have that nuclear technology they are very strong and uh so you 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 edomites man you edomite nations but especially you uh you americans you know and you uh canadians but especially here in america you know this is uh you know like the babylon i'm like uh, i'm like this is mystery babylon you know and basically um you know we see what happened uh a couple of days ago you know in mississippi there's a big flood you know, I'm going to get that too. It says, uh, Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. It says, uh, it says, Philippia, triumph thou because of me. All right. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into the into Edom, right? So, you know, that's why when the Lord, he's going to judge this place, man. We see what happened in, uh, you know, in Mississippi. Hold on, I'm gonna, one second. 
yeah so i'm going to play this uh, this is just going to be a short uh video in regard to this this is just uh for educational purposes so uh let's play this the tornado mississippi play it because the music well let's hold on stupid music so okay as we come on the air, a massive cleanup operation is underway in parts of the Deep South. More than two dozen people are dead, several missing from powerful tornadoes that ripped through Mississippi and Alabama. That weather system is now moving into the Northeast. The twister striking after dark, the night sky lit up by bursting transformers and lightning. Storm chasers joining residents and first responders, combing through the rubble of homes. Looking at the devastation, one Mississippi resident and said there's nothing left homes and businesses ripped to shreds the roof of this restaurant torn off tables and chairs and much of the inside left intact at least 12 tornadoes reported cars and even a tractor trailer sent flying a water tower crumbled to the ground Mrs. Yeah, so this shows you man that this whole society that you know that these Edomites you know what they build up you know these are just temporal man because they're not structurally they're not built you know uh um, they're not built structurally sound you know with proper material you know they only have wood you know drywall and you know um that basic material like the only thing what they have is just a foundation <laughs> you know at the, you know but you know let's say there's a tornado or um you know or like um you know rain or whatever you know that these things just blow blow away man so this shows you that when the lord comes man you know with this whole um what's where the what's happening you know that these nations they're like they're preparing to start war you know on uh on the land of america and about but you know throughout babylon and um you know so um this, this whole like this whole this whole society is gonna collapse man you know so these cities you know these high rises these uh these homes and stuff they're gonna be shredded man because just looking at this like this is you know like these people you know they say you want to buy a house now you know it's, it's so much so much money you know and uh and you have a mortgage right your your mortgage is a is a death note you know that word mortgage just means death pledge you know so it's like you're basically like you're like it's a pledge for death basically but you see what's happening now you know people who who you know who had you know who thought that they had it made and stuff now they're going to be displaced you know and their and their insurance won't even probably cover that man so th this is gonna, this is some serious times, you know. Prophecy is just uh, a lot of things happening back to back, man. A lot of stuffs going on, man. Um, let's play this. I'm gonna get Isaiah. 29. Mississippi's governor declaring a state of emergency and DHS Secretary Mayorkas offering assistance to the communities impacted. ABC's Phil Lipoff. Yeah, you could play this, you know, but um. You know, this is all this is all prophecy. You know, we're living through, uh, we're living in prophecy. You know, and um, prophecies to come in the past. Isaiah twenty nine six: Thou shalt be visited of the Lord the hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and a great noise, with storms and tempests and tempests and a flame of devouring fire. So there's fires and you know, wildfires. You know, storms earthquakes you know see what happened in syria turkey you know over two million people is, is has been displaced in that region so um the lord he's he's coming man and he's bringing a lot of destruction a lot of death a lot of plagues you know and um uh hold on i'm gonna put i'm getting uh 
I have a little video, another video, one second. Yeah, this is another video um, that I saw. This is in regards to the whole 5G towers, you know, this pentagram, you know, what these people worship, you know, um, the military, you know, pentagram and um, these sorcerers, you know, like this is what they uh, practice witchcraft. And uh, they have this technology that they that they know these science, you know, they went through their technology and uh, these science science that they practice, you know, and um, you know they they and they they call upon you know spirits and you know basically we're 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 fighting that we said we we said we rest not against uh, flesh and blood but against principalities right against uh spiritual weakness in high places man because esau he, he he's a mastermind you know with his uh his technology right and uh you know this is psalms uh 17 right psalm 17 basically um hide me from i said hide me from the wicked which is thy sword right so uh esau is the lord's sword on the on on his, you know with his left hand you know, and basically he's uh, using, you know, the left hand, which is, you know, you Edomites, you know, to, um, to, you know, to, for this whole NWO, this new world order, man. And uh, it's wicked, man. You know, let's uh, play this script. 5G cell towers, they're everywhere these days. And you might think they're there for your cell phone, but in fact, it's a weapon system hiding in plain sight. These things can beam you based on your social media profile. Yeah, and like, that's what they do. You know, we're, your whole Wi-Fi and stuff, like they're, they're good, like they're basically going through your house with this whole, with your modems and stuff, like, you know, and then your television, your phone or whatever. And they basically know, like you know, everything. Like, like they're they're monitoring you, you know. So Esau, he's that's why he says, um, you know, that he's wiser than Daniel. You know, um, I think Ezekiel, you know, like the Prince of Tyrus, you know, and that's basically Esau on the left hand side because the t the Tyrians are right, the um, you know, like they are very wise you know and skilled you know with different signs of the stars and navigation but now it's you edomites that have that same power and technology you know and you guys are are perfecting this stuff man you know you go outside like people that are bugged out you know people are inoculated with this whole this dart that's in their flesh and um Basically, if you want to travel to or whatever, you could travel certain city, certain um, countries, you know, certain countries like like you don't have to uh, have the dart and whatever to travel. But certain countries, they want you to have the dart and this and that. So it's like you're being like, you know, people are uh, you're a prisoner, you know, we're prisoners, you know, under this whole NWO, man. So that we need the Heavenly Father to come and deliver us out of this, out of the devil's hand, man. So uh, let's play this. Based on your vaccination status, if you've been experiencing headaches, heart palpitations, buzzing in the ears, chances are you're experiencing 5G syndrome. At first came the 5G, then came the COVID. These things are making everybody sick. And since you can't see the invisible laser beams that are hitting you, you think it must be something else. Yeah, you so he, he saw he has this thing perfected, man. And we know with the 6G, you know, like they're going to have even they're going to have it even more perfected throughout the world. You know, and you, like they're going to basically uh, fry you, electrocute you, you know, with these waves and these magnets you know and they want you know if they want uh, uh it's gonna be a population control you know that this is what this whole thing is for you know it's all population control man and these people don't care about life you know 
Let's play this. Wouldn't suspect how bad these cell towers are, and you certainly wouldn't suspect how advanced the technology is. But it's like the Starship Enterprise beaming you wherever you go. They're everywhere at your place of work, at schools, near your home. You're always being beamed by these death towers and irradiated to make you. See yeah, they're they're everywhere, man. You might you might live in a small town or community. You know, in your uh, apartment, your condominium, your um, you know, your whole um, suburban. You know, these these towers are everywhere, man. We know that during the whole um, this whole uh, this whole C O V I D pandemic. You know, these towers just came out of nowhere. You know, because everybody was just at home. You know. And uh, this is what's going on, man. So these people, they, uh, you know, this is all for, you know, population control. And that's why the Heavenly Father, he's going to have to intervene because these people, they, so that's why the Lord said, he said, um, if it wasn't for the Alexic, no flesh shall be saved because these people want to, you know, because they want to kill everybody. Like they, they're, you know, because these people, like they're polluting the water. You know, and like, who's the one who's the orchestra in this, man? The small hats, man. You know, these people are mad scientists, man. Because sick people basically make the economy go round. And so these death towers are an instrument of mass destruction. They are there to kill and genocide the public. They're not there for your convenience. They're not there for your cell phones. They're there to kill you, supposedly. Yeah, and so all this is, this is, um, when you read about Nicholas Tesla and stuff with his inventions and he basically, uh, this whole Wi-Fi that we're using, it was created by, by Nicholas Tesla and, um, you know with um basically uh you could like you could do your research but he did many types of uh you know inventions and stuff you know and basically uh he you know he was very knowledgeable of these things but he he became broke you know in his uh in his old age you know because you know and we believe that you know i believe you know he's possibly a jake I believe he's uh thinks um uh, Siberian or one of those he's one one of those Eastern European guys, but he was inspired, you know, and uh the most I he basically opened up his eyes, you know, with this technology. So um you know so basically like their all this technology that they're using or whatever is to just is to control man you know and because uh, esau wants to be like like he's god he wants to he has a god complex and that's why um the lord's gonna judge these people because that's why he said um esau most it says uh who's more who's more uh, proud or who's uh more stout than his uh his neighbors i think it's in daniel well uh, let's play this in the 1960s, they were making phone calls to the moon. You have startup cell phone companies today that are offering coast to coast 5G coverage with only a hundred and some towers that can reach hundreds of miles each. They don't need to put death towers in everybody's neighborhood. These things are a control grid, a death grid. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Yeah, so end of the day, the Lord, he's only he's only dealing with a hundred and forty four thousand man, you know, of the of the like of the twelve tribes, right, of Israel, and uh, he's only looking for a hundred forty thousand good men, you know, and um, and the one third who the Lord's gonna have mercy on because um, the Lord, he's not, he doesn't care about the world. He only he's only he only cares for his Alexei, you know, and, um, you know, um, this is pretty much it. I didn't really have nothing planned. This is just all in the spirit.
And um, yeah, so with that, that is our praise due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Kakodash, Shalom.